5 at 6.30. And thanks for staying with us for a second half hour of News 5 at 6. I'm Rob Cork. Diana's off tonight. Good news tonight on the inflation front. According to new data released today, inflation in the U.S. has eased to 7.7%, down from 8.2% in September lower than some economists had expected. Now, the inflation rate still remains far above the Federal Reserve's 2% target, signaling that interest rates are likely to continue. Meantime, more workers filing for unemployment benefits. According to the Labor Department, there was an increase of 7,000 claims last week, even as the U.S. added 261,000 jobs in the month of October. So what does this all mean as Thanksgiving approaches? Food is still getting more expensive, but at a slower pace than earlier this year. Groceries up 12.4% from a year ago. That's increasing the price of your Thanksgiving dinner. The USDA says the average price of a frozen turkey nearly $2 a pound. That's 73% higher than last year. New size Asi Portillo joins us live from Karen, Fair, Karen Share Food Bank of Southern Colorado. You have more about how inflation is, is impacting this organization and local families here, Ashley. Yeah, Rob, so in recent months, more and more families have been getting their food from places like the Karen Share Food Bank. Behind me, you have some of the volunteers here from Liberty High School. You can see them sorting through all of this food. Now, the organization also doing what they can to make sure families have a Thanksgiving meal despite the high costs. Many families who never needed help before are turning to local food banks. I mean, yeah, having to go to, you know, food pantries and stuff like that just to be able to get what we need. The Hubbard family is a family of five in Colorado Springs. They've seen the biggest impacts on the cost of gas, their utilities bill, and groceries bill. Before all this started, I'd pay about two, three hundred dollars a week in groceries, and now I'm paying between five and six hundred dollars a week. And with Thanksgiving just two weeks away, they said their holidays and what's on the table for dinner will look a little different this year. This year, more likely, we won't have turkey. We'll find a different um, meat of choice and, you know, just it, it's going to be different. While costs for Thanksgiving staples are up, so was the need for help from Karen Share Food Bank. So November and December are most definitely our busiest months just because of the holidays. And we really try to focus on getting as many families as we can that special holiday meal. Nate Springer is the CEO and president of the nonprofit. He said in October, 600 new neighbors registered to go to the organization's food pantries. We've seen a whole new group of working class families that have kind of crossed a threshold into need for the first time. As families are paying more for Thanksgiving this year, so is the organization. Thanksgiving dinner is going to be a lot more expensive this year. So when you think about the food bank, it kind of creates the perfect storm for us, right? All of our costs, just like every business, are up. And while inflation may have eased in the past month, the Hubbard family says the holidays will still be tough for many. Just be courteous to one another. Um, mm -hmm. Have a little bit of patience during the season, you know, because you don't know what the next person might be going through. And uh, right now, Karen Share Food Bank also hosting their Harvest of Love food drive. They're working closely with more than 70 school districts right here in southern Colorado, including some of the students that you're seeing right now sorting through some of this food. Of course, just a great effort to make sure that meals get to families in need right here in our community. For now, reporting in Colorado Springs, I'm Ashley Portillo, News 5.